Hi Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing the July 1st through the 10th, 2018 reading for you. I've shuffled and meditated upon the cards, and we are going to see what these 10 days hold in store for you. There you are, Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. Right up there and you're clarifying. Okay. Give me a moment to take it all in. Make sure you can see everything correctly. Alright, all right, Taurus. These 10 days, you're going to be astoundingly strong. You are astoundingly strong anyway. Um, but these 10 days are really saying that you have to embrace who you are. Without apology, without hesitation, know your mind, know yourself, keep your independence. All right, that is going to how that is going to be how you progress with positivity and abundance at your center. Okay, because you have the Queen of Swords, who is kind of a badass. To be honest with you guys, you have the King of Pentacles and you have the Emperor. Okay, three really, really, really strong cards, and the High Priestess, four really, really strong cards, right here showing perseverance of self, clarity of self. The Queen of Swords can also represent a Libra, an Aquarius, or a Gemini, but it's also a very strong card. It's saying to know your mind, it has a weapon here with the sword. She's also the only queen to be wearing chainmail. You see that on her headdress. This is the Lou Ellen Tarot deck for any of you who are interested. And this is just saying that by keeping your independence, by keeping that clarity of self, you are moving forward in prosperity and you have to keep yourself free in order to let yourself fly and achieve your goals towards Sun, Moon, or Ascendant because you're having a rebirth of self. Right? The death card is the only card with a halo behind it. If you can see that, there we go. The death card is a dying away of the old self and a rebirth of the new. Half the dogs are looking back at the spiritual realm. Half the dogs are moving forward. This is saying to trust in yourself and trust in your intuition. You've gone through a transformation of self towards sun, moon, or ascendant. And now you're learning how to move forward in prosperity, in abundance, in understanding, and in joy. Because the old you has died away and the new you has been reborn. This is also saying that yeah, something big has happened, it's going to happen, okay? It doesn't have to be big for everybody else. It just has to be significant for you. Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, in order to sit there and make you look at things and say, huh, you know what, I would be happier if this makes me feel more at peace if, fill in the blanks however you want, Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, but this is saying that it gives you a rebirth, and staying independent, staying true to yourself is going to help this rebirth move forward. Also, staying connected to the spiritual realm, all right? You're a person of action, you're a person of ideas, and you're also a person of ideals, but staying connected to the spiritual realm is going to help you move forward in the progress that you're seeking right now. Right? And there's a huge connection in these 10 days with the dying away of the old self, the rebirth of the new, the spiritual, the mist being around you, the dogs here looking backwards. And then the high priestess. This is saying to trust your intuition. Okay? This is a half of her face is an old woman. Half of her face is a young woman. You can see that. Okay. Wisdom and vitality. Connecting with nature is important, but also silent waters run deep. You are taking in the abundance that's around you, and you are also staying true to your beliefs, to what you want, to how you're moving forward. This, These 10 days, it's not really about other people. Now it could be that some of you find an air sign, okay, a Libra, an Aquarius, a Gemini, and you guys hit it off. But this is also saying to embrace knowing who you are, embrace your brilliant, brilliant mind, Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. In these 10 days, your thoughts are going to be working best, your mind's going to be kind of on fire. It's going to help with your rebirth of self and help with the fact that 
you will know when people are being honest with you. You will know when people are pulling the wool over your eyes. You will know how you want to proceed in life. These 10 days are going to give you a bit more clarity. I'm not saying that in these 10 days, everything's going to become clear and your whole realm of existence is going to ring through like a bell. What I'm saying is that it becomes clearer. There are little things that happen. Or for some of you, because this is a general reading, for some of you, there are big things. You take it in and you see the truth of the matter. You know what you want. You know your wisdom. You have your cauldron of plenty right here, which is filled with all the best things to make you wise and prosperous to our sun, moon, or ascendant. And you're embracing it. You're embracing your wisdom. You're also embracing your evolution of self with the crescent moon, which turns into a full moon, which turns into a new moon. So you're understanding the secular nature of life. And you're knowing that you are moving forward in a way that is just and right for you. And things are happening quickly. Okay, you're going to sit there and you're going to see changes happen around you, whether it be personal changes, whether it be romantic changes, whether it be work changes. And again, it doesn't have to be big. This is a general reading, which means that each of you has to take it in for yourself, digest it, and see how it rings true. Also look at your sun, moon, and your ascendant sign, your sun sign and your ascendant sign. But here, there's majesty. The stags here are a symbol of royalty. The wands, their movement. Things are moving quickly, and you're taking it all in. You're digesting it and seeing, how does it affect me? How should I react? There's a time where you need to step back. There's a time where you need to take it in. You need to digest things. You need to sit there and contemplate and understand the messages that you were given. And when you open your eyes, you're going to see the blessings before you. Don't forget to look in unexpected places places for your blessings towards sun, moon, or ascendant because they're coming and they are bringing you light and joy and happiness. But there is a time during these 10 days where you're going to feel as if, okay, enough is enough. I need to just regroup, recenter, and take it all in. And that's what you're going to do. You might even feel as if you're out in the cold a bit, you're, you're, you're a bit lonely when you have to take everything in, you have to find this understanding. Know that you're not alone. This is love. This is blessings. This is spiritual abundance. That's here for you, Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. And when you open your eyes and you see it all, you have the Seven of Cups, which is love, peace, flexibility of mind and spirit, prosperity of home, wealth, something you value as much as money, courage, victory, transformation. You've gone through a transformation of self. And now you're seeing all these blessings start to come in. And it doesn't mean that within 10 days, you're going to have an overwhelming amount of blessings. Some of you might, but it doesn't seem quite logical to sit there and say, everything's going to happen within 10 days and your whole life is going to be changed. No, but they're going, it's going to start to manifest. You're going to take it in and things are going to start to change. Give me a minute. Yeah, it's a small change, but it's saying here with the Eight of Wands, there's change coming into your life. You're going to have to take it all in, see how you want to react, but it's going to happen quickly around you, and then you're going to react to it because the stags here aren't moving, even though there are spears, wands flying above them. That change, you're going to look at it and say, how is this going to affect me? This change could involve another person, again, an air sign, or somebody who embodies an air sign, a Libra, an Aquarius, a Gemini, somebody who's very strong. But there's going to be a time here where there's change, and you know your own mind. You know what you want. You know that this change is giving you freedom of self, letting your wings, spreading your wings and flying, having mental clarity, knowing your mind is very much going to be a part of these 10 days. Spiritually, knowing and seeing people for who they truly are, Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, trust your gut. 
because feminine energy is coming in, it's guiding you slowly, gently. But this is all about justice and truth. Seeing the heart of a person, not just the facade that that person wants you to see. And this is because you have gone through a transformation of self, a rebirth of self, an embracing of self that you might not have done before. And because of all of these changes that are happening, you're going to have to feel, you're going to feel as if you have to rest. You're going to feel as if you need to take time. You need to take it all in. When you open your eyes, you'll see your blessings. Don't forget to look in unexpected places because you're going to get an abundance of blessings. And if you're not looking for it, and if you hide away, you're going to miss it. So keep your eyes open. It doesn't have to be something big. Everybody always thinks of life-changing events happening. And sometimes the smallest things can set the course of a whole entire day or a whole entire week. Kind words, a person saying thank you can really lift the heart and change the spirit and start to make it so that you see blessings instead of negativity. But those blessings are coming in towards Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. Take time and take care of yourself, but don't close your eyes to them. Because if you miss your blessings, you're going to feel heavier. He um, less, you're going to have less joy come into your life, right? If you keep your eyes closed to the blessings. But if you open your eyes and know that you're seeing the truth of the matter, know that things are happening for a reason, taking it all in, but trusting yourself. This is about trusting yourself, Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. Because you have the Emperor here. Strength, dignity, wisdom. As I always say, he's either wise Solomon or reckless Nero, who plays his fiddle as Rome burns. And you see how the King of Pentacles echoes the Emperor the reds and the browns, the golds. You are learning to embrace yourself. You are learning to embrace your abundance. You're sitting there and saying, yes, there has been sorrow in my life. There's sorrow in everybody's life. You learn from it, you grow richer. And you're sitting there and you're saying, my feet are firmly planted on the ground like a good Torian, and I am moving forward in life, in my existence, in my love the way that I wanted. I am manifesting on this earthly plane what I desire. My fruits of my labor are paying off. You go from being a king to being an emperor. This is about moving forward in the way that is the most prosperous, the most abundant, and the most right. I don't know if that's correct English, but the best for you. And that's what you are doing, Taurus Sun Moon Ascendant. Strength, abundance, Embracing yourself and embracing what you want from life. Not settling and keeping your eyes open to the blessings that come. Knowing your mind. Your mind is going to be so sharp these 10 days. Okay? Trust yourself. Trust yourself and trust the transformation of your spirit. Trust your intuition you are manifesting beauty and abundance in your life. You are embracing your strength and your triumphs, and you are moving forward in victory. All right, Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, I hope this reading resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. Bye.